Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel called Tartaria and History Channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The scholar René Quinton, born in 1867 and died in 1925, discovered that the sea contains all the nutrients that humans, animals, soils and plants need for their survival. Did you know that in France, plasma was made from seawater and they hide it from us? Did you know that different varieties of plants could be planted in the African desert by watering it with seawater? Did you know that the famous chef, Farin Adria, is already cooking with seawater? Magical Matera Do you remember the stone city from the latest James Bond movie? This small town in the Basilicata region is in a part of southern Italy. It's one of Italy's most unique ancient destinations. The city is made up of two large sassi, or the stones, Verisano and Cavioso, which were dug into to create caves that house homes, hotels, restaurants, shops, cafes, art galleries, and museums. It said that the Sassi have been inhabited for around 10,000 years. It is one of the oldest settlements in Italy, and probably one of the oldest in the world. Archaeologists have found artifacts in the city's caves dating back to pre-Neolithic times. The Basilicata region is arid and dry, but the city had a system of cavernous cisterns that were nothing short of an engineering miracle. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something, and, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Empire of Rama No other civilization in the world has captivated so much the imagination that the civilization of the Indus Valley in which some authors have seen the mythical empire of Rama. The civilization of the Indus Valley has its roots 8,000 years ago at Mergar. The Harapan culture had largely exceeded the borders of what is now Pakistan, it was center in Sindh and Punjab. In contrast to other civilizations, burials found from these cities are not magnificent, they are more simplistic and contain few material goods. This evidence suggests that this civilization did not have social classes. It is likely that the Harapans were a peaceful civilization. It is said that strong radiation emanating from fossil corpses forced the Indian government to close the site. Would have Rama's empire been destroyed something else? Rama Airlines could be the name given to a powerful fleet of the past. The fleet of a rich prehistoric empire ruling over northern India, known as Rama's empire. Rama's empire is widely mentioned in the sacred literature of ancient India. It was a highly developed civilization, just like ours. Or even more developed. At its peak, around 12,000 BC, the empire had seven major capital cities called the Seven Rishis, located in northern India. In these cities, comfort and luxury were everywhere. Exquisite food, exotic zoos and aviaries, parks and bloom, the ancient descriptions remind of modern cities. And what follows is even harder to swallow. The Rama's planes could travel anywhere on Earth, and even go to the moon or stars. What do you think? The Vatican is a symbol of Christianity. 
We are today so used to the name that we hardly think about how the Vatican got its name. The truth is that the name Vatican is neither Latin nor Greek and it cannot be traced to the Bible either. The word we associate with the church is closely linked to the Etruscan goddess, Vatica. Etruscan literature and mythology have been lost, but we know that the guardian of this necropolis was the Etruscan goddess, Vatica, sometimes spelled Vatica. She was the goddess of the underworld. What do you think? Race of Giants Found in Desert Los Angeles, August 4. A retired Ohio doctor has discovered relics of an ancient civilization whose men were eight or nine feet tall in the Colorado desert, near the Arizona-Nevada-California line, an associate said today. Howard E. Hill of Los Angeles speaking before the Transportation Club disclosed that several well-preserved mummies were taken yesterday from caverns in an area roughly 180 miles square, extending through much of southern Nevada from Death Valley, California, across the Colorado River into Arizona. Hill said the discoverer is Dr. F. Bruce Russell, retired Cincinnati physician, who stumbled on the first of several tunnels in 1931, soon after coming west, and deciding to try mining for his health. Not until this year, however, did Dr. Russell go into the situation thoroughly, Hill told the luncheon. But Dr. Daniel S. Bovee of Los Angeles, who with his father helped open up New Mexico's cliff dwellings, Dr. Russell has found mummified remains, together with implements of the civilization, which Dr. Bovee had tentatively placed at about 80,000 years old. These giants are clothed in garments consisting of a medium-length jacket and trouser extending slightly below the knees, said Hill. The texture of the material is said to resemble grey-dyed sheepskin, but obviously it was taken from an animal unknown today. Hill said that in another cavern was found the ritual hull of the ancient people, together with devices and markings similar to those now used by the Masonic Order. In a long tunnel were well-preserved remains of animals including elephants and tigers. So far, Hill added, no women have been found. He said, the explorers believe that what they found was the burial place of the tribe's hierarchy. Hieroglyphics, he added, bear a resemblance to what is known of those from the lost continent of Atlantis. They are chiseled, he added, on carefully polished granite. He said, Dr. Viola V. Pettit of London, who made excavations around Petra on the Arabian desert, soon will begin an inspection of the remains. This was published in the early 1900s in the San Diego Union newspaper. There was no follow-up on this find. Did the paper just use this for a fill-in or something to boost sales of the paper? The Paiute Indians have a legend about Egyptian-like people with long dark hair that arrived here in sailing ships and made their home in Death Valley in caves near the Panamint Mountains. Could these be the same people? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.